sound pulse flex, flexible in name, flexible in nature. If you're into hi-fi, you probably already know the names NAD and PSP, Avenue Electronics and Speakers, respectively, but you may not have heard of Blue Sound. An offshoot of those two respected marks, it specializes in streaming audio products. At $300, 299 pounds, 699 Australian dollars, the Blue Sound Pulse Flex is least expensive speaker in its lineup, and it offers a lot for the money. The two-way speaker is relatively compact at 4 inches wide by 7.2 inches tall and 5 inches deep. It can either work on its own or be combined with another to create a stereo pair. Connectivity trumps most budget wireless speakers, with Bluetooth, a 3.5mm analog, optical input, Wi-Fi and Ethernet, USB and a headphone output. 5 shortcut buttons as well as a set of playback and volume controls, sit atop the speaker. While the Flex lacks a power button you can hold down the play button for 5 seconds to set it in vacation mode. Like the Denho's one, $179 at Amazon.com, the Pulse Flex can also be fitted with an optional portable battery, the $80 BP100. In my tests with the battery, the speaker was able to play CD quality files at medium volume for the claimed 6 hours. I did find that if you have the unit unplugged, and not in vacation mode, the player will power down at the same rate even if it isn't playing anything. The Blue Sound app features a color scheme known in the industry as none more black, and it is relatively easy to use. Streaming services include Spotify Connect, iHeartRadio, Tidal and Cubus, UK. The one standout that isn't supported is Pandora for whatever reason, though of course you can still stream over Bluetooth. Users can also listen to music in qualities up to 24 bits slash 192 kHz, and the player also has native Rune Ready and NQA support. I've listened to the Flex as both a background speaker and as a desktop model for some time, and I haven't found a genre it doesn't like. Whether it's streaming the excellent internet radio station Radio Paradise or higher res rock tracks from my home server, the flex always sounded balanced and, I want to say, cheerful. Vocals are crisp, and bass is full if not all that extended. I compared the speaker against competitive the Play Colon 1, $199 at Lowe's.com, and found the Sonos offered a big sound without J's 3WW while also able to pick out details such as the crisp shaker egg and hand claps. In comparison, the blue sound was more constrained to the physical cabinet, details weren't as present and the result didn't feel as alive. When compared against the Den Pose 1 the two exhibited very similar sound signatures with this song, both a little closed in but still very enjoyable. In this three-way battle I give the sonic edge to the Sonos, a larger, louder sound is better for a speaker of this kind, 